Hello world, it's Travis Bolin. Today on Kit Pit, we are gonna do the CB Giddy Portable Amp Speaker Kit. First thing, let's take a look at the instructions. You have the key hookup section, the optional hookup section, some assembly notes, you will need some drill bits, uh, drill, screwdriver, solder, and soldering iron. And then on the back here, you see an example of one in a cigar box. Our parts are the main PCB with all the hookups and the potentiometer, a speaker grill, battery hookup, a light, screws and bolts, and grommets, a speaker, a jack, corners, screws, feet, volume knob, and of course the box. This is a cigar box I'm going to use. The first step I'm going to do here is just to fit all the pieces into the box, starting with the speaker and the, the speaker cover. The two bare wood halves on the front, I'm going to find the center point by taking a straight edge and doing a line from each corner to make an X. And in the center of that X, that'll be my uh, center point to where I know my center line is going to be for this speaker. I also did this on the other side for where I'm going to place the volume knob. After I got this lined up, I made some marks and prepared for drilling. I drilled four holes, one in each corner to mount the speaker with the nuts and bolts. Here I'm doing a dry fitting with the speaker and the grill cover just to make sure everything is lined up. After I had the speaker mounted, I took my marker and made several dots within the speaker's grill so I could drill several tiny holes so the speaker would have a way to project out of the box. This part took a very long time, but it was kind of an artsy thing I wanted to do. And see it there. I started to move on to the main potentiometer with the PCB board with all the hookups so I could prepare to mount everything else. You can see I'm doing the same thing I did earlier trying to find center of that bare wood so I could drill a hole to mount the volume knob. This volume knob is also the on off switch so it's a dual switch. The bit I used was a little small, so I did end up having to get one of my keyhole files out to make it just slightly bigger. Here you can see what I'm doing is I'm actually just wiping off the pencil mark off the box there. Now that I had that potentiometer mounted, it was time to put on the washer and the nut and just dry fit this really cool retro top hat looking volume knob. Now I'm gonna install the LED on light indicator. I'm gonna probably mount it here in the center Found a good location for the light, made a mark, drilled a hole. The LED has a flared piece. 
on the end. So when you slide it through the hole, you push it in and it seats in there really nice. And you can put just a little bit of bead of glue behind it. Next, we're gonna make a hole to mount the jack. I'm gonna place it on the side of the box here. Once again, I'm using a straight edge to find the center of the side. Once again, I made a mark, drilled a hole, mounted the jack, and we were good to go. Once again, using the keyhole file to just make sure that the hole is, is nice and smooth. Once I had the bulk of the components assembled in the box, I started to figure out how I was going to put these decorative corners on the box. So you can kind of see how the layout's going there. Right now I'm going to mount the battery clip in the box. There's two screws that, to mount this clip in here. Unfortunately, this box was so shallow I couldn't get the screws in there. I couldn't get the screwdriver in there to, to get them down. So what I did is I ended up having that Velcro there and I Velcroed um, the clip in and it ended up being just as good of a way to hold the battery in. Right now I'm relaying the decorative corners on there towards the bottom half of the, the speaker because I'm trying to see where I'm going to mount these little rubber feet. And you can see I have one there, put a second one on, and so on and so forth. I had this little extra latch that I was gonna mount on the bottom to keep it closed, but unfortunately it was so big, it, it wouldn't sit. So I had to think of something else to keep it closed. Eventually we'll take all these leads and use a soldering iron and some solder to solder them to all their components. Right now I'm gonna take my marker and my drill bit and drill a bunch of holes underneath this speaker grill. That'll allow the sound to escape from the box. You could use one of those cylinder saw bits and drill a big hole into the wood and then put this grill cover underneath that with the speaker and have one big hole. But I was just kind of being artsy here and wanted to do something a little different. It did take a little bit more time, but sometimes, you know, that's what you gotta do. I thought the other side of the speaker looked a little blank, so I took some sticker lettering and did the abbreviation for volume, as well as the word on, because the switch is a dual switch, both on and off, as well as volume. You can also see my design over there where the speaker is going as well.
What I'm doing now is taking a little bit of flame to the plastic on these wires just so I could expose the bare wire to prep them for soldering. And I'm starting with the LED light. That's the first thing I'm gonna wire up with the battery in it because that'll just indicate that everything's working because it will flash red. And you'll see that shortly once I have it wired up. You can see there it is, red flashing on and off. I twisted the hot and ground wire on the LED and dabbed it with just a little bit of glue to hold in place and prepared it for soldering. And right here you can see the soldering. Just a little bit will do you. Now I'm gonna feed that LED back in its hole and dab it with a little bit of glue on the back just to hold it in place. Next, I prepare the wires to be soldered to the speaker. On the back of the speaker, it does have a plus and minus. Minus will be black cord, positive will be the red cord. Next, I prepared my wires to mount my jack. Usually, you know your ground is the inner piece of metal that, that you solder to on the output jack. I plugged a cord into the speaker, turned it on, and ran my finger on the other end. I got a nice buzzing sound when they made contact. That lets me know it's working. So I went ahead and soldered the joints. Once that was soldered, I remounted the output jack. And then I remounted the speaker and the speaker grill cover. Then it was time to tighten up the potentiometer with the PCB board, as well as mount that volume knob. Next, I took some time to mount all the decorative corners. Now these are optional, and if you use this, this kit and put it in something that wasn't square, you wouldn't even be able to use these. But I took the time to put them all on each side because I thought they looked really good.
There was a little bit of a rough edge where they had broken that paper seal, so I took some flame to it just to knock off some of the burr edge. I then came up with a solution to shut the box by using an upholstery pin and a screw. I put the upholstery pin at the bottom here, and then I wrapped a piece of metal wire around it. And then in the top part, I put a little screw and I wrapped the wire around them each side in a figure eight and tightened the screw down. And that allowed to keep the box shut. I'm just wrapping up putting on these corners. This is a bit of a long process, but looks wise, it's totally worth it. I had this old lunchbox handle and I thought that would be cool to mount that on the top just to give it a little handle. And I did that by screwing two holes in each side and just running some wire in between the handle and the two holes and twisting it at the end. Now I'm just using my little setup here to close the box shut. And there you have it. You can use this with a guitar cord for an instrument, or you can use it with an aux cord and an eighth jack and plug it into your phone or tablet or computer. Now let's play it and rate it. give this one a 10 it's easy and simple multiple purposes it's portable don't let a little soldering intimidate you and you can mount it in anything thanks for watching kit pit we'll see you next time subscribe now for the latest videos